So we got rushed off to A&E and that's when he then went into the point where he was semi-comatosed. Oxygen tube trying to keep him going as well. I'm sorry. His SATs went down to 80% and they said to me he might not make it through the night. <laughs> and he stayed like that for 48 hours. Winning your child to breathe is something I wouldn't wish on anybody. And then suddenly everything changed. All the medicine started to kick in. And four days after he first came in, we knew he was on his way back. And he decided that he was going to push his garage that had come from the playroom down the corridor to his consultant. Looked up at his nurse, gave her a thumbs up, and then turned around and went back to his room again. We'd gone from having this happy little baby to this baby that had red raw skin that was covered in pus and blood and weeping permanently to the point where I couldn't even feed him properly. I had to wrap him in a towel so he didn't slide off my arm while he was feeding. And he's now five and he's still battling eczema throughout this entire process that we've gone through. And I think it has defined him as a character because it's made him very strong, but he's also acutely aware that he's different to other children. And it's, it's very hard for him to go through, giving him the love and support that he needs to give him the confidence to grow enough to say, it's okay, it doesn't matter if you're different because you're special, you're making things better in the world and you're still doing everything that you want to do. For one, it's itchy. For two, it's, it hurts and for three, it bleeds. And I remember I managed to sum up enough confidence to go to a baby and toddler group in the town next to us. This little girl comes and plays with him and they're just merrily playing with their cars together. She was totally unaware of what was, he was just another kid that she was playing with. And her mum comes and picks him up, picks her up, so she don't want to play with that. You're going to end up catching something. It's utterly soul destroying. So I have to check labels for absolutely everything. So I use scientifically proven safe for the skin products for Callum, be it that it's washing up powder, be it that it's clinical detergent, be it that it's shampoo that everyone else uses as well. It's gotta be something that if he comes into contact with, he's not gonna have a reaction to it. So it's having to be constantly on top of what's going on, constantly checking labels because things change all the time. So for him to try and have the most beneficial um, use of all of his medication and all the clinically tested products that we use in terms of cleaning his clothes and so on. We have to make sure that it's keeping everything as calm and as gentle as possible on his skin. When I'm poorly, I have to use my medicines and they make me better. And to this day, he's still shoving two fingers up to eczema and allergies and proving that he is not gonna go down without a fight. 